Hey there, I'm Barb. This is my channel. If you're a return viewer or a new viewer, you should know my channel name. B Rex the PR Goddess One. It's my email address at yahoo.com. And it's also known as the Glamazon Hot Mess, the Beauty Horde, which is upstairs. Right now I'm sitting in the home office, which is the book horde downstairs. This is my uh my vision board for this year. Anyway, if you saw me earlier today, I had my hair down. Well, it wasn't insanely hot today as a summer day, but I, I need a haircut. And I got sick and tired of trying to keep moving my bangs out of my eyes and cheeks. So I decided to go with the little Lady of Rage Afro Puffs, like I see on Tasha the Amazon on Plant Logic. I love it. And uh, it's actually mostly staying. There's so little pieces at the bottom that don't want to stay. I digress. Before we get started, I'm going to show you that this is basically mostly going to be me going through my mail, which is the most current Ulta sale catalog, which is for their Summer of You sale from June 26th to July 16th. I'm also going to show you the thing that came in Amazon while I was at work, a few things I got from vacation, and let's start off with what I'm wearing on my face. First up, when I'm wearing a mask at work, if I don't want to get acne like this, and it's pretty much going to happen because we still have to wear masks in my building because I work for a government and in Connecticut, at least in my area, municipalities have the right to choose right now on if they're going to still have masks. So we've never dropped the mask mandate at work. I've been wearing a mask straight through at work since the pandemic. I believe in the masks, but I'm also sick of mask me. So now what I do if I am going to work and I don't have like a photo op, like there's not a press conference or something I need to attend. I will do eyes only. And lately my eyes only the last couple of days have been super simple. No primers, no nothing. I'm literally wearing today a couple of swipes of this Laura Mercier uh, eye crayon in the shade Strapless. It's their caviar stick eyeshadow. This is the one from the um, Sephora birthday gift. See the color? You can tell I have a little tiny bit on here. I don't know if it's still on or not. I don't really care. It was just a little bit I swiped on this morning. Then from Ipsy, I got this lovely double-sided Koki Cosmetics Gel Ink Dual-Sided Eyeliner. The only side I'm wearing, not the gel side, I always open the wrong side, is this side. And as usual, I try and make it even and then it gets bigger and bigger. And so I always end up looking like Amy Winehouse. And the third thing I have on is a couple of swipes of the Flower Beauty Lash Warrior. I didn't even curl my lashes. Now, that's how I went out all day. However, I did go come home and I decided, you know what? F it. Let's test it. So out of my Ipsy bag, prior video, that came for June, I tested on one eyebrow only. This one, not this one. My Brow Atelier Groom and Sculpt Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Black. Now, here's my mistake. Instead of starting in the arch like I always do, for some idiot reason, I decided to start here where I got my little burn scar and very little hair. So it kind of looks a little thicker than normal. I'm sure if I started in my normal way, I could incorporate it fine. So far, it feels good, a little crispy, but that might be because I literally tried to use all the product that was on the spoolie instead of trying to use it between two eyes. And yeah, so I digress. Now, before we get into the what I would or wouldn't buy or what my thoughts are on things in the Ulta catalog, let me show you the two things that I'm very happy that I got during vacation that were not like t-shirt or hoodie related because I am that person. You can never have enough hoodies. First thing is from a brand called Wayward Chickadee. They are a Maine brand. Now, recently, about two weeks ago, I was up in Maine and New Hampshire, the Kittery, Maine, Portsmouth, New Hampshire metro area. I mean, they're separated from a bridge, like between the towns I live in over here. They're like this big, far apart. So it was pretty big metro area. And we, we extended the vacation. We were up for a wedding, a family wedding. So we went a little early and we stayed a little late kind of thing. So one of the things we did was we hit the Cape Nedic. Nubble Lighthouse, which is really cool. I mean, you can't touch the lighthouse or go on it. It's like separated by a little break of water. And they tell you, you know, you're not allowed up there. But you can literally get on the rocks, like almost right up on it. You can take pictures. It's really quite cool. They have a gift shop. I bought a hoodie and a Christmas ornament. And then I got these two things. The first is this thing from Wayward Chickadee. It's a mosquito bomb. Now, they had other bombs that were 
herbal related, like a lemon lavender, but it's like, what are you going to use them for? Like elbows and stuff. This one is mosquito repellent balm and it's DEET free, which is nice because if I ever actually succeed at having a kid, I don't want those poisons in me while I'm pregnant. And normally I am a mosquito magnet. Therefore, this is why this was very attractive to me. Wayward Chickadee, this little brand that makes these, it's a local to Maine brand. They're out of South Berwick, Maine, I think it says. Just Berwick, Maine. And that's in that same metro area. And you're supposed to apply this stuff liberally to expose skin every one to two hours, store it at room temperature. There's no alcohol, it's just essential oils and like, I think just olive oil base, beeswax base. I'm not sure. So if you're vegan, you probably might could. Yeah, it's olive oil, beeswax, cocoa seed butter, coconut oil, vitamin E. You decide if it's worth it to not be poisoned by chemicals and stay truly vegan or if it's worth it to use something like this and avoid a lot of high-end chemicals, especially if you are pregnant or very sensitive to these things. It says it was $11.99. It rang up at seven and change. This is a very big little tub of it. This is 1.7 ounces, 48 grams. That's good. This says for a year when you open it. So I like to buy local when I'm in places. I hope people come to Connecticut and buy local here and up our economy. So I do the same when I'm traveling. Now, the next thing was from a company called Stonewall Home. Now, they make Stonewall kitchen stuff, too. I'd never seen anything from Stonewall Home. And I knew that Stonewall kitchen items can be in some of the local, like, slightly more upscale grocery stores, which up here would be our big Y market. They are a family-owned and operated market centered out of Massachusetts, but they pride themselves on partnering with local farms and local um manufacturers to get local goods into their stores so they may tell you what farm said fresh squash came from or um that stonewall kitchen products which is like a lot of jams and bread mixes and things like that from what they carry come from the stonewall kitchen company which is out of york maine which is again that same metro area so imagine my surprise when i'm at the noble lighthouse gift shop and in addition to finding the perfect lime green hoodie with an embroidered logo, I find that they have some of the Stonewall kitchen home items. I'd never seen them. Creators of specialty goods produced in Maine. Soy candle, 13.75 ounces or 389 grams. And this fragrance is called Sandy Beach. And it's coconut, sandalwood, amber, and musk. Okay, so now you already have made all my favorites. It's a two-wick candle. It was $17.95. At first, I was like, you really want to pay $17 and change for a candle? Yes, I don't care anymore if they're that good. And this one, to me, it's that good. So these are my two huge, giant fragrance, not makeup, kind of skincare, kind of self-care items that I just had to have. And I haven't even burned the candle yet. I'm just, like, opening it and smelling it. And I know that some people are a little frightened of candles. You can always put it on a candle warmer, which looks like those mug warmers. And that's electric and it won't burn the candle and it won't affect it, but it'll kind of help release the fragrance if you get eh about those things. This was a little surprise thing I had ordered in the middle of the night and forgot I ordered. I stocked it until it was on sale. And then I saw like when I got up to use the bathroom, because when you drink a ton of water, you get up to pee, especially when you're in your 40s. And um, so it went down $2. I mean, it was went from $7.99 to $5.99. And that's a lot when you're talking about a less expensive item. So this is more of a new age thing. This is a star pendulum board. Came with a pouch and a pendulum. I collect pendulums because I think they're kind of cool. So here's the little storage pouch. It's, you know, industrial grade faux velvet. It smells like petrochemicals. Woohoo! Here is the little, you know, chain, uh, whatchamacallit, pendulum. I can't even say it's silver. It's white metal. And I can't say that it is, oh my God, it's done. It's an actual necklace. Holy shit. So it's probably silver tone over brass. And then this, it could be real onyx. It could be glass. I don't know, but she's supposed to use it as a pendulum, but you can wear it also. So that's nice. It's two for her. And the board came in this little bag. It's supposed to be a little pendulum board. Think like a, um, no. Okay. This is a pendulum, a uh, pentacle. Earth, air, fire, water, spirit. That's where all these are. This is spirit because it's up. 
Now, of course, people are like, but what if it's this way? It's bad. Yes, I know some Satanists use it this way, but so do some of the other ceremonial magicians. It is not necessarily bad. It is all on how you interpret anything. And I just like that. Oh, I got a damaged one. Oh, she damaged. The wood is damaged. Well, it came from China. What do I expect? I had a long road for being a little piece of balsa wood, which is basically what it is. A piece of balsa wood with some laser etching. But I like that it's like unknown, unknown, yes, no, maybe. This is basically a flat version of a um, magic eight ball. What you're supposed to do is hold your hand or arms very steady over it on a flat surface, like a table, and you put your arm on the table. And you got to ask it some test questions, like show me if, what yes means to you, what no means to you. And I know that it's like it can go swinging either way, but are you going to go circles, counter circles, up, down, so that's why this is kind of cool. So if you're ever into just like, like if you use those Oracle dice or Oracle cards, you know, yeah, you don't have to be quote unquote pagan to use this. If you are, that's even better. And I don't judge either way. Just, you know, honestly, if you're new to my channel and you are here to be very conservative, you are going to be disappointed. And if you are here trying to put a traditional spin or viewpoint on anything I do, do know I was raised in a more traditional kind of way to some way. I got to take some of these splinters off. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to try and seal this broken area with like a nail polish or something. I understand what it is and I have formally rejected it. So you do you. I am all open and accepting as long as you're not like, you know, hurting people, things, going against people's will. I don't really care. Free will, baby. Land of the free home of the brave. So it's supposed to be stored in this. I will deal with it later. But that's what we have for now. So that's what the mailman has brought us in the last couple of days. So in the last week, I have filmed my Walmart Beauty Box Summer 2022 Version 8 box, which they screwed something out. I have filmed my Etsy ring that came. I have filmed my Ipsy bag plus add-ons for June. I have filmed my... Ipsy flash sale items that arrived. And now I filmed the Amazon. I've been very, very good trying not to buy bullshit. Trying to get my spending under control. And uh, yeah, so now we're going to do the end of it. Let's go through this Ulta catalog. If you don't have this in physical format in front of you, they always have this on their app or their website where it says like view current catalog. So the front page is all hair items. First up, I don't use heat stylers. At sometimes, if I have the patience, the time, and it's a special occasion, I might use a diffuser, but that's about it. Now, my sister-in-law used to, when she did my hair, sometimes, you know, I'd have her, like, blow it out straight or flat iron it, because I don't own that patience or skill level. And I sure as hell can't get the back of my head right. So, yeah. Honestly, the only thing I might use on this page... Okay, here's the thing. As a curly girl with very fine textured curly hair, I stay away from anything with, with um, silicones in it, because... I get conflicting information on which silicones are or are not water soluble. And I can't afford to take chances with buildup that I have to take off with a clarifying shampoo that will then turn my hair to straw. So, since we all know silicone buildup will cause your hair to get, to become more of a dirt magnet and just flop and limp and gross and just build up. I try and stick to things that I know don't. So they show the way. Um, leave-in conditioner. A lot of their stuff tends to have silicone, so I can't use it. Then they show Verb Dry Shampoo Powder. I'm not a dry shampoo girl. Sorry, curly hair folks usually aren't. Unless I'm trying to like build extra volume for like a specific look. So the only thing on this page I would probably look at, because I don't need the Dyson Mul Air Wrap Multi Styler, would be the Brio Geo Superfoods Leave-In Spray. Because that looks rather good. And that's the one that they have that has... I'm sorry, let me put these reading glasses on because when I have my contacts now in this last year or two, I am learning that I cannot focus between far and near as well as I'm supposed to because again, middle age. Bitches. So this is the Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture 3-in-1 Leave-In Spray. I could totally do that. Next page, more TLC, more hair products. Let's see, is this for color-treated hair? Scalp Trio. I like Living Proof stuff. I like their hair mask. 
I have had uh, little travel sizes of their shampoos and stuff. I really do like their stuff. They don't have problems for me. I would use their stuff. We have another Brio Geo item, another superfood from them. It's the... Oh, they're talking about on the cover. But this one is a superfood texture spray. I really have enough texture, so I don't really need that. Olaplex. <coughs> I stay away from a lot of Olaplex because a lot of them have silicones in them. The only ones I don't are the Zero and the Three, and you have to use them together, and they're not really a shampoo. They're more of like a treatment. Look, that stuff belongs at the salon. I could let my sister-in-law put it in my hair, but I'd stop to pay her. And I'm not against paying her because, you know, your time, you're doing work. I just, I'm living my best life without it, so why bother? What else do we have here? Beauty Finds by Ulta, the Smooth and Shine Kit. Uh, looks like it's a kit with all different sample stuff. Again, I'm very picky about my hair care. If I can't read and confirm there's no silicones, I'm not putting it in my hair. Eva NYC, Tone It Down Leave-In Cream and Brass to Sass Leave-In Cream. All for color treating. I don't have color treated hair. This is natural. Uh, what else do we have after that? The Sugar Bear Hair Pro Collagen Gummies. Yeah, I don't do that crap. Sorry. The only gummies I would do are the my Ashwa Gummies from Goalie. Ashwagandha Gummies to help calm stress and reduce cortisol levels because I have always worked in industries that have stressed me to high health. And in some way, shape, or form, I guess I perform best under stress. But, um, yeah, so over the years, the cortisol feeds the tumors. All right, the next page is all about buy one, get one free, calling all curls. Now you speak in my language. You have the uh, scalp shampoo little brush. I have one from Ipsy. It doesn't look like that. It's similar. I, you know, if that one broke and I needed a new one, I would try it. Then they mentioned some of these brands. Rizzo's Curls. I've read some of their stuff, like the back of their ingredient list inside Target. I would try them, but they're like 20-something bucks, so there's, I'd wait for them to go on sale. Pattern um, from Tracy Ellis Ross. I have one of her small ones, I think. I just haven't opened it yet. It's like a travel size. I got it during a sale. The Main Choice. I've seen it in the store. I have not tried it yet. Myel. I haven't tried that one yet, but I've seen it in the store. Shea Moisture Hair Care. I've used a lot of their stuff, and I do enjoy it. I just have to be careful because sometimes it's for more uh, of a tighter curl texture and more coarse hair that can get a little drier than mine. So a lot of times, if it ends up weighing my hair down too much, I give it to my mom because I'm like a 3B, 3C, maybe? Like 3A? I'm in the threes. She's a four for the curl pattern. I love, love, love me some Curl Smith. It's expensive, but is worth it. Uh, Curls, that brand, like the, um, I've used it before and I do like it. Uh, let's see what else we have. Comet Biologics. I have a hair butter with burdock, a little sample, oh, like a travel size from Ipsy. Love it. Mixed Chicks. Some of their stuff has silicones. Now that I've learned more about silicones in my 30s and 40s, I don't put it in my hair unless I can confirm it. So in the past, before I knew, yeah, I liked it. But yeah, no. We did. Same thing. They use silicones in almost all their stuff. So I stopped using them. Design Essentials. I haven't tried them yet. I have to check out the back of their ingredient list to confirm. Oh, no, no, no. I did use them. Yes. These people here. Their foaming mousse liquid is amazing. I had like a... Like a deluxe sample. It was like a four ounce one instead of the nine. I killed that shit, homie. It was amazing. I would buy it again. Especially that size is good for travel. And it sits in my shower. Because I put in my styling products when my hair is soaking wet. That's my little trick, too. Diva Curl. I like it. It's expensive. I've used it for years. I've cycled away from them. Camille Rose, I wanted to try. TGIN. I just bought some of theirs from the last sale. I haven't gotten into it yet, though. Echo Style. I cannot say I tried them yet. When we go to Carol's daughter, some of her stuff, oh, that black vanilla spray leave-in conditioner. My God, it's like hair perfume. I love that stuff. I'm on my third bottle. I got one from my mother. One of my girlfriends needs one. Yeah, that's the friggin' bomb. And when it comes down to like wet brushes and things, look, I'm all for a good comb. So basically this page, I could fall in love with these pages just as long as it's the items I don't have. Oh, yeah, not your mother's curl talk line. That's a great line. I'm using some of their stuff right as we speak. It's a 10. Hmm. They've got a lot of silicones in their stuff. I used to like their blonde one because it helped with the grays, you know, keep them shiny, but I've steered away from it. Um, Shimmer Lights, that's the shampoo for 
purple shampoo for blonde and silver hair. My sister-in-law told me to use it. My mother used it for a while. It does good work. I just haven't tried it yet. I got enough shampoo right now with my Maui moisture. Purology. I have not personally used it. Again, I know people that have. If you don't have sensitivities or you're not worried about weighing down your hair, that's going to be too delicate to clean properly with silicones. I don't know if all of them have silicones or not. You know, you'll have to check for yourself. Biolage. I used to use their shit. I used to love their shit. They had a leave-in. Oh, no, sorry. A deep treatment moisture mask that I did like once every two weeks. It came in a tub. It was like $20. And the tub was like this big. So a good heavy like 13, 16 ounce tub. And you only need it probably about this much. And this is back when my hair was long. Like you could sit on it almost long. I love that stuff. Did it have silicones in it? I don't remember because I used that all through the aughts. You know, the early 2000s, 2010, I moved back home. I stopped buying it. I used to go through a phase where I did the Redken All Soft, but that has like petroleum product stuff in it, like mineral oils and things in addition to the avocado oil. So once I realized that stuff, I stopped using it. But man, again, mineral oils and petroleum based moisturizers or silicones. Don't need them in your hair if you've got thin textured curls, very delicate. You're going to snap them. Joico. Oh, I used to use their K-Pack all the time. Eh, those are the days. Uh, DPHU ACV, the apple cider vinegar hair rinse. I had travel sizes of it and I loved it until I read that, oh my God, the second ingredient in is like silicone. So I stopped using it. AG. What the hell is it? Lies, the full name of that brand. AG Hair. Their conditioners and curl products were amazing. And they stopped carrying all of them at Ulta. So you kind of have to go to Cosmo Pro to get them. So you can tell what I do. I have my sister-in-law get them for me. Redken Acidic Bonding Concentrate. Well, you know, obviously this is about like damaged and color treated hair. I'll do that. Sun Bomb. These are all going to be your heat sprays and your flat irons. And again, I already expressed to you the thing I've used my flat iron for the most. When my hair was super short, like boy cut, I would use a little mini one to straighten bangs and little pieces around my face and look cute. And then after that, I used the rest to depot my MAC eyeshadows and my NYX eyeshadows from their plastic individual cases so I could put them in a Z palette magnetized. All right, more hair stuff. Are we ever going to get away from hair? Brushes and gummies, all these detanglers. You know, like how many do you need? Derma E scalp relief treatment. Look, I do love me a good scalp scrub when I can find it. And there's one that I got recommended off of Amazon that I'm enjoying greatly. And there was two different ones I tried. One was like Tokyo Lab Clean. And then another one was Christoph Robin. They came, I got the little mini tubs from Ipsy. I enjoyed those. I wanted to love the one from Sephora. It was like, I don't know, 10 bucks. But the salt pieces in there were like all polished and burnished and like they were like these old flat oval stones almost like if you went and got like professional massage stones that were just like all carefully cut and polished in a certain way so I didn't feel like they did anything they didn't dissolve right and they sure as hell didn't exfoliate anything I was like well if you're not going to stay if you're not going to work you're not going to stay I took that shit back I already told you my feelings on Olaplex and honestly Matrix I would try their silver stuff the top pick to uh Hair filler. I don't think I need that just yet. Although my mother did offer to buy me minoxidil for my 35th birthday because, you know, that's not being hateful or passive aggressive. I'm just stating you have your father's hairline. He's are going to go bald like him probably. Thank you and good night. Yeah, that's why I'm in therapy. I love the woman, but sometimes. And if you're watching, I tell you this to your face. This is not anything you don't know. Uh, verb, as far as a line, I have to be careful with their stuff. I have a sample hair leave-in hair cream for curls i know it has a little bit of silicone i'm trying to just kill it because i think the silicone is towards the bottom like almost last so against my better judgment i'm just killing it in fact that's what's in my hair here this is three day hair and it has it in it still igk hairline everything i've ever gotten from them from ipsy had a ton of silicones right like first ingredient after water pass that shit on pardon my french all right, now we have Sexy Hair brand. They were talking about all their hairsprays, the so touchable, the volumizing. Spray and play harder for curls. Now that one I would try. I like their hairsprays. I've used them before when I used to do big hair. And also when I wanted to go with slash, I would put my hair out real huge and then put my 
top hat on and my black jeans and my rock and roll t-shirt and a pair of my old beat up like bike uh motorcycle boots and my sunglasses no makeup easiest halloween costume ever all you need to carry is a guitar which i have uh let's see um oh oh self tanner am i not brown am i not golden brown and delicious i do not need these things so i do not use them now sunblock sunscreen i buy stock in that shit <sighs> I prefer my mineral sunscreens, even though they do make me look ashy and flashback. But they are sun screens. They screen that shit out. Just, oh, I'm sorry. They like blocks. Mineral sun block and then chemical sun screen. The chemical one absorbs it and transforms the rays into heat. The mineral ones reflect it completely. Hence flashback. I prefer the ones that reflect it completely because I don't need to play around. Oh, nail polish. Yes, I do love me some Essie. I would totally be up in that. And the Impress Nails. I grow nails long and crazy randomly and normally, so it's not a big deal. But in a pinch, if I don't have time to do my nails for an event or if, like, <laughs> they should break under the skin and leave me nail list to the point where I'm not functional right before something, I will throw a set on. I, in fact, I brought white ones with me when we went to the wedding. I just didn't get two minutes to put them on. Okay, red carpet manicure color dip. Not my bag. Pedicure stuff. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, I haven't tried those baby foot peel things. I want to. I'm intrigued. But I just haven't found the time, energy, and money to go get them. Love me a good foot file. And some nice thick foot creams and balms and the, the moisture socks. Like, I'm all into that. I love that. That's right up my alley. And I do my own pedicures because people are disgusting. And even when I go to like, when people are like, oh, I'll go to the nail salon, but they disinfect in between people. Yeah. But if you use the spa pedicure seat, they may bleach the thing and scrub all over all the surfaces. But how often do they run that bleach water when it's in there through while it's bubbling to clean the filter? You don't see that happen, do you? So the minute, however clean that tub is, but the minute they fill it again and turn the bubbler on, now you're bubbling in what other people bubbled in. I don't mean to gross you out, but I'm grossing you out because you need to be aware because that's how foot fungus and viruses and diseases of your feet. You don't want to pick up a virus and end up with warts. You don't want to end up with fungal nails. Trust me, don't do it. All right. Now we're talking about razors. We are shaving and body cream. Oh, I love me some hemp's body cream. I don't do these face razors. I use a little flawless over here because as I've gotten older, this is my Billy D. Williams is coming thicker. But I do shave my legs. I don't do any of those IPLs, although I totally would try an IPL if it was affordable enough for me right now. Because, yeah, I'm about that. And that pretty much handles this page. Hey, look, we're doing real good. We're at 20-something minutes. We've covered four topics, and we are more than halfway through the book. Ah, now we're getting to some makeup. Woo! Juvia's Place has a lash line now. Now, let's put it this way. I love the concept of Juvia's Place, but I've had too many creators of color come back with some issues with how the the, um, the owner of the line has treated them. So I want to love you. I really do. I like your products. But when you behind the scenes can be rude to people, I don't know. I, it didn't happen to me personally, so I can't speak to it. But I'm just saying, sometimes I have to give myself pause to stop and think. All right. So now we have Long Wear Wonders on this page, which has all kinds of cool stuff. Let's go from the top from the left that morph or everyone else calls it morphe that morph um foundation and concealer one and two i would definitely try them and i do have one of their setting sprays this is the coconut one i have the peach one and i have the mattifying one this is the continuous setting spray like their original but with just with a uh, coconut scent i love me some coconut i would try that then underneath the setting spray we have the maybelline sky high lash mascara I have it. I like it. I don't know. It sets up kind of weird. And it's kind of a pain in the ass to get off, even though it's not waterproof. Okay. L'Oreal Infallible 24-Hour Fresh Wear Bronzer. Problem here. Lancome. L'Oreal. Maybelline. All owned by L'Oreal Cosmetics, Inc. Garnier. They still are not cruelty-free. But sadly, they make some of the best stuff. And then I feel guilty that... We're blinding bunnies. So I have a lot of things I sort out in therapy. 
I'm just going to leave these on while I read because it's just easier. Okay, then across from that, we've got the, la um, sorry, the uh, Perfector 4-in-1 Glow. This is not for oily people. I've read so many reviews, people with oily skin trying to use it, and it's not working. Underneath that was the Maybelline Vinyl Lip, but it's the Superstay one. It's supposed to not come off. That sounds amazing because I love transfer resistance. That's why I started to go to matte lipsticks in my 20s. Because while like this lipstick, the one I'm wearing right now, which is Frog Prince from Lipstick Queen, shiny as hell. It's like chapstick. And it's going to get everywhere all over my cups. So, for me, and if you hear background noise and somebody talking, that's my husband upstairs talking to his mother. I don't like transfer. I don't like it on my teeth. I don't like it on my cups, my forks. If I eat a sandwich, I don't want it on my chin. I just don't want it moving around. And hey, I got a husband. If I <coughs> want to kiss him, I don't want him in his little pale self getting it all over him. So, you know, anything with gloss or shine usually is going to be like this and just get all over everything. So the concept sounds great to try something that's shiny but yet transfer resistant. But it's like still like $12, $13 a tube. So do I feel like trying it right now? No. I could get it on Amazon for like eight. I might get it from there eventually. But for now, I'm good. Their infallible eyeliner. I've had it. I like it. I have the brown and the black. That's the, the pen one with the felt tip. And then, of course, the bronzer. I don't really need bronzer. Again, that's like going back to the whole hashtag, do you need self-tanner? Now, I know some people of darker complexion still use it. Every now and then, if I have like a sample one that came from like Ipsy, I'll use it. Like, I'll kind of layer it under blush right around here to kind of almost make it slightly contourish. But I don't, let's put it this way. If it, all my bronzers were to fall and break, I would not be put out. Underneath, we have the, oh, Essence Cosmetics. If you love their um, Lash Princess line of mascaras, they're coming out with a Lash Princess line of liner. And they're vegan and cruelty-free. And now, right now, they're new and they're only available at Ulta. And they are also $4.99, just like the mascaras are. That I would definitely try. Oh, okay. So we have an Ulta collection where they collaborated with Def Leppard. Because that is such a timely thing. Love Bites. That came out in 1985. 1986. Like, when I was like 10, 11. Why are we doing this now? I'm in my mid-40s. I'm pulling the hell out of my mid-40s and starting to push away the 50. You get my idea. Oh, I do love me some revolution, makeup revolution. And this is an IRL, filt uh, IRL filter foundation. So in real life, it's supposed to make you look filtered, but you're not. It's supposed to be long wear, oil and shine free, breathable, soft matte, pore diffusing with niacinamide in it. Oh, yes, yeah, sign me up. Vegan and cruelty free. I'm, I'm all in that. And then again, new and only there. Same with their lashes. Oh, their lashes from um, Juvia's that I was like, eh, about... Okay, so their Lash Glue is a brush-on applicator, clear, $10 a tube, and the lashes, 12 styles, $13 a piece. Now, can I get really awesome lashes from different lines at about the same price point, like House of Lashes, Lena Lashes, Velour Lashes, all by women, either of color or AAPI or Hispanic or, you know, mixed folk? Absolutely. Absolutely. Do I support all the women out there with their makeup lines who are, you know, women at all? Versus, and then on top of that, women of color, Hispanic, Latinx women, um, mixed folk, AAPI folk. Absolutely. So eventually I will have to get, a, you know, a tube of her lash glue and try at least one pair of her lashes. And they go from barely there to holy crap, I don't care. So we'll see what happens. But I'm not rushing out to buy it when it's brand new is what I'm saying. Not in this sale. Not today. Then they have a bunch of ColourPop, and you know what, honestly, I like ColourPop, but I'm so sick of them bringing out new stuff every other week, going, oh, new release, new release. Please, you tire me. Then we have, let's see, buy one, get one half off lashes. Now, you can't combine the brands, but the brands that are on sale with this are Ardell, Kiss, and Ilure London. I like Ilure London. I love Kiss, and I love Ardell. However, not all of their lashes are made equally. Not all of their lash lines are made equally. In fact, I have some of the Kiss lashes in the same styles that from when I first bought them to when I bought them again two years later, they totally redesigned the style name. So, like, I don't really need lashes. I literally have six lash books full of lashes and a whole box of backup lashes. So, 
theoretically if one needs lashes this is a good sale buy one get one half off but i'm not in need so it ain't happening sorry mosquito bite I'm scratching it then they have buy two get one half off for makeup brushes sponges and tools and the brands there that you can mix and match real techniques and echo tools go ahead and get you some those are some good brands i use a lot of their stuff if i don't get it at ulta i get it on uh, amazon or i'll even get them in store at target when they're on sale so or tj maxx marshall's next we have some nyx and some wet and wild oh and my boys over and girls over at tree hut tree hut with their scrub body scrubs bot and shave minimizing body butter have it love it oh it's the coconut lime sugar shave prep sugar scrub i actually have that in the bathroom right now then they also have the shave oil oh my god I, I have one open i've killed two in a row i've transitioned mostly away from shaving cream although i have some of those cremo shaving creams with coconut and mango which are really rich and i like those too but i love me my scrubs whether it be in the tube or the tub and then they have the spray the post shave spray to like moisturize your legs oh my god i just mm. yeah so i'm if i needed i would totally do that but i cleaned up at their spring sale and there was a big sale over at target so i have enough to last me until at least next summer so i'm not buying that right now wet and wild has a vacation mode oh they have a uh stitch from lilo and stitch line it's kind of cute i mean like the problem is I always get suckered in by their eyeshadow palettes. This palette has a lot of neutrals, a couple of orange and yellow pops, and then some blues. I don't see a lot of other colors, but that's fine. I don't need a lot of other colors. Let's put it this way. If I find it when I'm in a store, either at Ulta or Target or Walgreens, and it looks good, I might. But like, it's not on sale. It's just the regular going price. So they're just announcing it that, it, that the collection is out because you know it's limited edition. And if you need to see, here's the, the palette I was talking about. It looks like they have a face palette, probably cheeks. I don't know if it's highlighter, bronzer, blushes. Got some brush, some actual brushes, a makeup bag. And I'm sure one is a setting spray and one is a priming spray. A sponge, you know, little things like that. And of course, NYX is talking about liquid shadows over here right now ultimate glow shots they're called 13 shades if you spend 20 bucks in any nyx makeup you're going to get a three-piece gift there's some gifts with purchases mentioned in here but since i wasn't buying any of it i didn't even bring it up then we have what they call the summer glow which is like a layout of different brands and what you're seeing is a lot of oh this was actually this little makeup obsession page this collection they put together it's 12 different items that they have if you're on the app as one of the offers, like you'll get 5x the points if you are platinum or diamond or whatever, if you shop them during this certain time frame. So it's Hula Bronzer. I have it. I don't really care for it. I don't really use it. I mean, it comes in a lot of my face palettes. I ignore it. It is the Elf Putty to Powder Bronzer. Mm, again, not a big bronzer person. The Perfector 4-in-1 Glow from Maybelline that I just told you, not good for oily skin. It is the Bronzer Duos from Juvia's Place. They look all right, but again, not going to go crazy for the bronzers. It is the Laguna bronzer from NARS. The bron oh, then we have the multiple stick from NARS. And I think they're trying to do the highlighter and bronze ones. So it's probably the Laguna shade. I have the um, Copacabana and the Orgasm shade. It is nice, but you know. Then we have the um, Mineral Blush from the Ulta Beauty line. And then Bare Minerals has a blush and bronzer thing. It looked kind of cool, but it was like 32 bucks. So I was like, eh, not today. And now we have It Cosmetics with a Bye Bye Breakout Salicylic Acid Acne Treatment and a little dropper looking all clinical. It's alcohol-free, vegan, non-comedogenic. I'm not buying it. I don't need it. And then underneath we have NARS with their Laguna Bronzing Cream. Again, bronzing things. And I don't like go nuts with those. I swear we're getting there. Now we have some ooh, summer of full calendars. So it's showing you a few things like a curated collection. We have some sort of beauty blender type makeup sponge egg, Smashbox photo finish control, mattifying primer. I've used some of their primers before. I know they keep evolving and changing. They don't really blow my skirt up anymore. I'll use what I have. I'm not engaging in Smashbox primer seeking activity. We have a collection of brushes for 
from it, Col it Cosmetics specifically for Ulta. See? Not crazy about it. This is the Bobbi Brown full rich face. Uh, what the heck is the name of it? Vitamin enriched face based priming moisturizer. It is really for dry skin folk. Again, I don't need you. And then our usual Urban Decay All Nighter. I have it. I have tons of it. I've used up bottles of it. It's made by Scandinavia. Go to Scandinavia and get even better options. Get their bridal one. It works even better. That shit kept my makeup on in 96 degree weather with like 90% humidity on my wedding day. All day. Dancing, photos, nothing went anywhere. Even three in the morning when I was trying to wash my face, I was like, oh, it looks fresh. So the other side of the page has a Kylie Cosmetics palette. Oh, it's the mauve one. And we have a Jaclyn Cosmetics Pressed Bronzer. Yawn for both of those. Then we have a ABH Brow Freeze and their Brow Wiz Ultra Slim Retractable Detail Pencil with Spoolie. Whatever. I mean, they're not bad nor good. I just, you know, I have the ABH pencils I've used. If I get them in a kit, I get them. I don't go out of my way to seek out more. House of Lashes Boudoir Light False Lashes. I told you I love me some House of Lash Lashes. Then we have Better Than Sex Too Faced Mascara. Again, I get so many minis in, in things. I have like seven of them. Like, it doesn't blow my skirt up. And then, of course, the Ambient Lighting Palette Edit from Hourglass. 68 bucks. When these first came out, they were 52 I would thought it was expensive then. And I never... I should have just nabbed one of them when I had my 20% off and I never did. And now I'm just like, eh, they keep going up. And it's not worth it. I have one that I got off of eBay. Somebody sold it and I just... I bought it and it came cracked. And that's all I use. Oh! KVD Beauty Tattoo Pencil Liner Waterproof Longwear Eye Gel Eyeliners. I would try those. I have her cake liner and like it. I used to like her liquid liners. I love tattoo and dagger. Underneath, well, let's see, we have Urban Decay Naked Your Way. Any palettes inspired by your favorite shades. And they're all $29. They're the six little narrow strip types. I hate this layout of a palette. It's hard to get a bigger brush in if you want to do an all over wash of color. So you have Sin, which is blush tone neutrals. And they tell you what color liners they work with. Zero, mildew, and whiskey. Then you have Foxy. Six funked up olive tone neutrals. They don't even tell you that. What color. Or unless maybe all of these go. These liners go with all three of them. And then you have Half Baked. Six blazed bronze tone neutrals. I mean, they're all very lovely. And if I got any of these as a gift, I would wear them. And I already have the three eyeliners they go with. Eh. Oh, yes, we have the new lip stains that hit differently from Fenty Beauty. Johnny Ross talked about these. And lastly, we have the new Toasted Swirl Bronze Shimmer Powders. They're limited edition. There's two shades. I saw these at Sephora online. They look delicious. And I'm not even a bronzer person, but they're kind of like a mix between a bronzer and a highlighter. Look, I kind of want to do like they did in this photo and just coat myself in it. Like that, I would totally get behind just for a photo shoot because I think that's just a delicious look. $42 is a little out of my price range, so I cannot afford to live deliciously. Black Philip hasn't asked me to put my name in his book. Okay, Tartlet Tubing Mascara. Also something new mentioned on Sephora, so if you prefer to shop Sephora instead, you can get it there as well. Eh, Flake-free, smudge-proof, easy removal, lash extensions in a tube. I tried the ever-famous... Thrive Cosmetics Tubing Mascara and the Blink Cosmetics Tubing Mascara. I don't care for them. That's just me. We have more Clinique Moisture Surge. If you need that for your skin, it's there. It's not a sale price, but they're doing a get a free clarifying lotion with your $30 Clinique purchase. I'm not crazy about Clinique skincare. I do like some of their Moisture Surge stuff. I've got like seven travel size samples that will like last you for like a good couple weeks each. And I'm fine. Above that, we have R.E.M. Beauty by Ariana Grande. Nothing that that line has shown before in prior Ulta catalogs has blown my skirt up, so we're skipping it. Oh, Tarte Maracuja Juicy Glow. What is it supposed to be? A highlighter? Oh, it is. So you can put it everywhere according to this diagram. You can put it as a highlighter under your brow, under your eyes. It just, no, sorry, does not appeal to me. But you do get a free mini man eater mascara with any $35 purchase. So if you bought that and or the tubing mascara, you'd be set. 
Let's see. Benefit. Good for brows. I love Benefit's brow products. They're a little pricey. I get them when they're in sets or on sale. I'm currently stocked up, so we are good. Now we're back to Lancome Fragrances. La Vie Es Belle. I have it. Uh, Lancome Foundation. I used to use that shit in the 90s and the 2000s. Love it. A little expensive for me. Oh, Advanced Genifique Face Serum. I have little travel size ones. Does not blow my skirt up. Uh, Lash Idol Mascara. I love the shape of the brush. It doesn't really do much for me, but I just think it's cool. I have the mini and I got the full size when it was on like some special 21 Day of Beauty thing. And that's enough for me. I would not repurchase. I would just like clean off the wand and keep it after I'm done with them. And then a Reenergy Triple Serum. No, thank you. We're done. Gucci Guilty is the fragrance crush of the month. So it's Gu Guilty Pour Femme and Guilty Pour Homme. So you'll get extra points if you're one of the uh, Ulta Beauty membership card holder for it. Ultimate Rewards members earn five times the points for buying it between June 26th and July 30th. They always do like a fragrance of the month. And usually the male and the female. I like Guilty. I have little like minis and I'll use that. So I don't need to run out and buy it, even for the points. Okay, somebody I've never heard of is selling a perfume called Born Dreamer. Looks like some Gen Zer. That's nice. I don't wish her ill. I just don't know her. Underneath, scents for every mood. Let's see. Kate Spade Sparkle Perfume. Never tried it. If it smells nice, eh, that's nice. It says it's a night scent, which means it's more spicy, which is more my style. Yves Saint Laurent Black Opium. I'm sorry, Black Opium Illicit Green Eau de Parfum. I have a mini. I do like it. Billie Eilish. Haven't tried it yet. If you give me a sample and I like it, I buy it. If not, but again, none of these are on sale. It's just showing that we have them. Carolina Herrera, very good girl. The red high heel with the black back. I don't have that one. I have the other two high heels. The original and then I think Legere. After that, daytime scents. We have Dolce & Gabbana, light blue. Italian love. That's not the one I have. I have the original light blue for women. Lancome, La Vie Belle. Oui, that's a newer version of the same perfume. I have the original. Burberry Her. I have a mini. It's okay. Philosophy Amazing Grace. Mm -mm. Only philosophy one I can wear is fresh cream. The rest of them smell like flowers and they smell like pee on me. Okay. Skin Fatuation. Again, a collection of items that will give you three times the points. So we have Good Molecules Discoloration Correcting Serum. I like Good Molecules. They're like running up for my like replacement to the ordinary I like The Ordinary still, and I love Inky, but them, I'm having some fun with them. I just bought a whole bunch of their stuff, and I was actually going to try and do a test between their pineapple and the um, their pineapple exfoliating powder face wash and the micro daily exfoliant from Dermalogica, which, by the way, reminds me a lot of a powder cleaner that Bare Mineral Skin used to have, and I think I have like a travel size somewhere still, because again, dry powder, it lasts you. Uh, what else we have? The Beekman... 1802 Milk Primer with SPF 35. I love that. I got that at one of the last sales, like half off. It's upstairs. When I do my makeup all from scratch and I know I'm going to be outside, yeah, I use that one. Let's see. Uh, Peach and Lily Lazy Day All-in-One Moisture Pads. Haven't tried them, I suppose. Okay, we have Philosophies. Purity Made Simple Face Wash. It's okay. I have little trial size, like travel size ones of it. And I use it. I would not engage in buying the full size because for me, it doesn't do anything. Like over the top. Oh my God, got to have it. Kopari. It is their organic coconut melt. Used for everywhere, hydration and glow, hair and skin. Girl, girl, just go get you some regular coconut oil at the grocery store and save yourself like 40 bucks. Because that one right there, I'm going to be honest with you. It is literally $29 for their 100% organic coconut melt. And how many ounces is it? It is 5.1 ounces. You can go to any grocery store. Go get you some at Whole Foods if it makes you feel more fancy and bougie. $29 for 5 ounces of coconut oil. If you're buying that, I don't judge, but I gave you the judgy face. You wasting money in a time when gas is $5 plus dollars a gallon. You crazy. And then we have the all over five all over wash for hair, face, and body from Jack Black for men. 
at least the line started as a men's line. Of course, I'm not telling you what gender assignment you can or can't be. Hell, I wear men's cologne. You do you. But it was primarily made for men. And um, I do get my husband to use that sometimes. Like the little travel kits I get him for Christmas, he'll use it. But not like all the time. Like usually he's still a dial soap guy. But he does do skincare for face. Like I got him into like Neutrogena face washes, Cetaphil face washes. And actually when we went away, he forgot his. So he was using my Pure Release pineapple enzyme exfoliating one that had like little flakes of gold. And he was like, really? You have gold? And I said, look, it was an Ipsy thing. It was a tube this big. I didn't ask what was in it. It just, it showed up. I used it. And the last thing is Avene Hydrants. <laughs> the rest of this thing. Aqua Gel, 1.6 ounces. $36. It's moisturizer, mask, and eye contour in one. Well, shit. It's a little thing, but you know, if you're going to get three times the points, like I would try that. Avene is a very nice brand. I would try them. I've tried one of their things before. I got a little mini wash and I loved it. Oh my God, we're almost at an hour. Did you spend an hour with me? Oh my God, you're going to have to break this one up and read it over time. We're working our way. We're almost done. We got like four more pages. Stick with me, I promise. I would have done this as a live, but I don't have enough followers and it won't let me unless I have a hundred followers. So, um, if you don't want to ever see these hour long videos again, next time get you and a hundred of your friends to sit here and subscribe so I can do it as a live. There you go. All right. Snail mucin in the whole K beauty thing. I'm going to pass that whole section. I don't do that. I have nothing against K beauty, but I'm not putting snail stuff on me. Look, I'm allergic to shellfish. There are not that far away on the food chain in my eyes. I'm not chancing it. Okay, BHA. Uh, so beta hydroxy acids, aka salicylic acid based items. Right here on the bottom of the page. Now first up that Clean It Zero from Vanilla. Um, I tried that uh, Vanilla Co. Clean It 3-in-1 cleansing balm. That shit burned. The pink one is original. I'm sure it's fine. But this one with the salicylic acid, I do not recommend it. Not for my skin. I may be oily, but I am sensitive. And it was too much. Dermalogica, retinol acne clearing oil. Well, first up, if you put retinol and BHA together, they fight. So that right there is a no. Second of all, it's $82. Do you want to pay for things that fight $82? I think not. First Aid Beauty in grown hair pads with BHA and AHA. $28 for 20 of them. That I can be down with, in fact take a pen and mark that one right here right now with my little system if it has a star i desperately need it if it has a heart it's like i love it if it has a question mark it's like eh, it's nice but maybe and if it has an x oh hell no i either used it and hated it or it's like that's ridiculous for either price ingredient reasons whatevs okay some brand called hero cosmetics has a clear collective exfoliating jelly cleanser five ounces for 12.99 hey i might try that guy too 12.99 for five ounces you know, I'm all about value for my dollar, especially when gas is $5 a gallon. Strivectin Daily Reveal Exfoliating Pads, 60 count, $45. Yeah, it sounds okay, but like, honestly, you can get, I'd rather get the ones from First Aid Beauty, to be honest with you. Um, Peach and Lily Super Reboot Resurfacing Mask, 43 bucks. Maybe, I don't know. Squalane. Okay, first up, let me ask, let me tell you a little bit about squalane. It is a natural moisturizer. There are two sources of squalane in this world. You can get animal-based or plant-based. Animal-based comes from things like shark livers. That's cruel. I'm not even vegan. I, I look, I'm vegan adjacent, like I'm down with what they say, but I'm not giving up cashmere and wool and honey and wax and eggs um, I'm definitely more vegetarian lifestyle, you know, like I, I'm not a vegetarian, but like I have vegetarian tendencies. I tend to do meat more as a flavoring and very small amounts here and there. I mean, yeah, I will have a occasional meatball saw, but you know what I mean? I don't like make meat fest. Meat pizzas don't really do it for me. You get the idea. But I try and make sure all my squalane in all of my beauty products is ethically plant sourced. It's not that hard, people. Uh, you can get some good stuff from The Ordinary. You can get some good stuff from The Inky List. Here they mention a few. Oh, look, The Ordinary Squalane Cleanser. That shit is the bomb. 1.7 ounce for $7 and change. They make a bigger one, but it's like 20 bucks. Girl, let me tell you, that stuff you take on a dry face, a couple squirts, not even that much. I actually was using too much originally. And you just, it's like a cleansing balm, like a makeup cleansing balm. Wipe it all over your face. It's going to be shiny like this. You take your, uh, your, 
washcloth, your makeup eraser, your dry paper towels, anything like that. You wipe it off and then you wash your face afterwards. Oh my God, your double cleanse is like that. It takes off some makeup. Like I am all about the queen of eye makeup. Yeah, I'll take that off. So I would definitely buy that again. I'm just, yeah, I need some. The other things here are Clarins. I find they're a little too bougie high-end pricing for me. I mean, like this was 4.2 4 ounces for $28. It's a gentle foaming cleanser. I can find a lot of gentle foaming cleansers for a lower price point for a bigger product, like eight ounces for like 12 bucks. Indy Lee, she is local to Connecticut, actually. I believe she's up from like the Torrington area. And she has some really nice stuff. One ounce of squalene facial oils, 36 bucks. Well, she does live in Connecticut. She has to pay Connecticut taxes as a business. So, I mean, I'm not saying, but I'm saying. Fresh Floral Recovery Calming Mask with squalene, $68. Fresh is bougie as fuck, just like Kiehl's. I'm not saying I don't like their products. I love their products. Can I afford them, though, regularly? Absolutely not. Do I get myself a nice, like, gift set at Christmas, especially when they're on clearance? Any kind of like value set, trial set. So if you see something like this in a set, go for it. But if you can afford $68 for three point, no, 100 milliliters, three point something ounces, 3.38 ounces, you go do that. Again, $5 gas and I'm a civil servant. I cannot afford that. The Cream Shop, again, K-Beauty. They have a um, under eye hydro patches for four dollars it doesn't tell you how many you get in there um there's lots of companies that give you like 30 packs of the hydrogel stuff uh eye patches for like 20 30 bucks you know like anything a dollar and under per pair you're good um and then we have tony moly vital vita 12 synergy ampule one ounce 20 bucks it's some sort of serum i'm sure it, it works fine 20 dollars is not too terrible for a serum so like if you're interested, try it. I, I am not interested. I will not be trying it. Azelaic acid. I started with that shit back in Arizona under my old dermatologist. That stuff is bomb. And it used to only be by prescription. Now you can find over-the-counter strengths. So Tula has a clear it up acne clearing and toning correcting gel. I'd try that one. It's not the same spot treatment gel. Mario Badescu has a clarifying serum with azelaic acid for $18. I would definitely try that puppy. In fact, I don't know how many ounces he is. I can't read it. Even there, it's not too clear with glasses. Oh, it is one ounce. And even though the Tula one is not too terrible, it is... It is one ounce also. There's 38. I'll stick with Mario Badescu for 18. That's 20 bucks off. Urban Skin RX, that's a brand that I, tr I got, it's, this is the Evenstone Cleansing Bar. I got it for my mother at Christmas. I have not gotten feedback from her. I forgot to ask her how she liked it. So I'm going to put a question mark next to it because I have to, she was my guinea pig. And yeah, 15 bucks for a two ounce bar. Not bad. And the Ordinary's Azelaic Acid 10% Suspension Brightening Cream, one ounce, $10. I have had it before. I enjoyed it and I would buy it again. I mean, it's different than the my spoiled by prescription strength that i no longer have but you know if you have to go otc it's a good way to try it then okay we're getting towards the back we're on page 34 just dropped little trial sets like i said something like this is a very affordable way to try some of this more expensive skincare so it looks like we have one from mario badescu we have one from kate hudson collaborating with juice beauty oh we also have the Hyaluronic Acid Serum from Good Molecules. How much they run in that one for right now? It's not a sale price. It's 2.53 ounces. That is bigger than even the big size that they offer on some of their more popular serums from The Ordinary. 12 bucks. That's it. That's affordable. I would do it. When I run out of the current one that I'm using, which is from the Inky List, which was $6.99, I shall buy this one. We have another Kiehl's product over here shown. What was it? Midnight Recovery Omega Rich Cloud Cream, $53. I don't need anything rich. Again, rich is for dry skin, mature skin, very moisturizing. If you have oily skin, combination skin, normal skin, you don't need something that says rich unless you've gone out skiing down the side of Everest and you're chapped. They have a brand I've never heard of called Beauty Bio, the Eyelighter Concentrating Smoothing Brightening Serum. Don't know about that. It's a depuffing tool, too, so it has one of those little metal tips. Eh. And, of course, Hero Brand. Again, that's where I know them from. The little 
zit patches, which by the way, I think I need one right here. He's starting to come up. Underneath, we have a bunch of buy one, get one free lip products. Brands cannot be combined. So you've got Eos Lip Balm, Paw Paw, I have both and love them. Sun Balm, I have and love. Fourth Ray, haven't tried them for their lip products yet. Then there's a cream shop, which has a cute little Hello Kitty type thing on it. I would try it just for the Hello Kitty type thing. And then we have an Aqua 4. I use Aqua 4, but I've not used the stick version on my lips yet. Other side, a Neutrogena Scent. I'm sorry. I'm like speaking crazy. I, I need more coffee. Skin and sun care. Buy one, get one 40% off. You spend 25 bucks on Neutrogena stuff, you get a summer tote for free. See? There's a tote bag. Interesting. Pink and blue. I have this stuff and love it. I have one of these to open and try. I have not tried the serum. Next to it on the other side, Sunday Riley. Oh, that's my girl. I love her stuff. Ipsy and Boxy spoiled me. So we have the Luna Sleeping Night Oil. Again, these are not sale prices. This is just telling you what they're selling it for normally. And this is the small one, the half ounce, 55. Double A high dose retinoid serum, one ounce, 85. And then we have one, the five stars retinoid and niacinamide eye serum, half an ounce, 65. I don't have that one. If I had the opportunity to get it and the money to get it, like it was like a special on Boxy or Ipsy for 20 bucks, 18 bucks, I would snap it up. If I had a gift card to pay the 65 bucks, I would snap it up. If it came as part of a gift set like one of these, I would snap it up. But can I justify $65 for it when I know that I drive a 13-year-old car, I'm a civil servant, and have credit card bills? No. Okay, after that, we have Proactive. I've never been a fan of them. I think maybe it's because they had, used to have that pushy, uh, you know, try and sell you the set like at a discount price, and then you have to remember to call and cancel, or you're going to automatically get charged. And when that wasn't happening, they were hawking at you whenever you walked in the mall from the push carts so i got a bad flavor in my mouth for all things proactive they could be the best bomb thing on the planet never gonna try them josie moran okay the argan cleansing oil i actually have some of that and when i used it on my face i felt like it gave me like a waxy texture and it didn't really quite break up the makeup right maybe it was just what i was wearing that day my scandinavia bridal set uh, maybe it was something else maybe it's just me maybe i don't know Maybe it was a bad batch. I hear a lot of people like it. If you like it, then definitely worth it. Again, these are not sale prices. They're just giving you regular prices. There's no deals on this stuff. They're just showing you that they sell it. I have their argan oil. I have a mini other whipped argan oil body butter type thing. And what's that last little tiny thing? Is this an eye cream? Of course it's an eye cream. I think I have a mini of that. Moving on. I use the argan oil like cuticles, lips. They used to make these argan oil bombs that kind of looked like lip balm like this but they were multi-purpose and they came clear or tinted so the tinted you could use as like a blush or a highlight yeah i got the set of that from sephora and i loved it and i used it all up and they all died okay what do we have here more summer of glow radiance things exfoliators gua sha's dermapore uh pore extractors and serums and things okay you need to buy yourself a scrub or the peeling shoe um foot masks go for it Eh, like I said, I'll find one one day that makes me want to try it. I'm just not there yet. So nothing on this page is turning my boat up. And those little cleanser things, I have my PMD device from, whatchamacallit, from Ipsy. I'm good. Other side, we have buy one, get one 40% off. Brands cannot be combined, they remind you. But they also remind you that if you buy two L'Oreal skincare items, you get a very, very small mini travel size, 1.5% pure hyaluronic acid for free. It's literally that big, I know, because I got one in a set as like part of a different gift for purchase. So here's lots of different little things like your Biore strips. I don't use those. Uh, Aveeno Calm and Restore Gel Moisturizer. Very good if you've got super sensitive skin or if you don't want to use calamine lotion on a bug bite or on a baby, you can put that on it. Not that I'm telling you what to do with children. I mean, obviously check and see if it's going to cause anything. But I know that my, my mother used to use Aveeno oatmeal stuff on us when we would have reactions and the calamine wasn't enough. Mad Hippie, love that brand. I would buy their stuff. And it's their jelly cleanser. I've used their serums. Rock, I've used some of their little mini like 
you know, gift would purchase kind of little stuff. Honestly, they're, I never was interested in trying their things. More sheet masks, um, Freeman Beauty, uh, different kind of mud masks and scrubs. I have a bunch of those I've used over the years. Garnier, Micellar Cleansing Water. This is the vitamin C one, the yellow. Doesn't really interest me. Uh, Fourth Ray, one of their serums they showed so just your general stuff and then of course the full size of what they're trying to push to give you for free up here we're almost there this is the last page over here so let's see buy one get one 40 percent off pacifica glow baby skincare i love all their stuff i would totally buy that if i needed more which i don't right now i'm kind of good entire brand 25 percent off of juice beauty oh even their cc cream i like their powder i i got their powder from from uh, Ipsy. I like their powder. Let's see. Entire brand of Urban Skin RX Pro Strength is 25% off. Regular prices are $28 to $58. So Urban RX, if you wanted something a little bit stronger with the Pro Strength, this is the time to jump up and get it. So I got to talk to my mother and see if she liked it. Let's see. Exuviance. Entire brand. 25% off. Regular prices are $12 to $96. Sorry, I uh, I had you guys try a sample found of your foundation like just on a patch of my skin, and it was nothing to write home about. It was not worth $38. It was nice, but not that nice. Okay, the back, we have things like straight-out moisturizers from Kopari and First Aid Beauty. What else we have? Crepey Race, Peter Thomas Roth, Osea, and La Citan. Hey, they're all great, I'm sure. If you can afford those prices, go for it. Because again, there's no special. It's just the regular list prices. Conscious Beauty, where it's more supposed to be clean beauty, positive impact, choices for your world. These are all marketing gimmicks, by the way. Um, let's see, we have Bliss Cosmetics. They are a proud partner of the Trevor Project that supports LGBTQ plus youth. So they're selling the, their uh, SPF 30 Block Star invisible daily sunscreen how much 25 bucks for 1.4 ounces hmm. if you're interested in the cause that this is going towards and by all means go for it i'm not spending 25 dollars on 1.4 ounces of sunscreen first aid beauty face cleanser five ounces 24 dollars. i love that cleanser i get it when it's on sale around christmas time for like ten dollars a tube i buy two or three and then it lasts me all year let's see dermalogica Biolumin C, vitamin C gel moisturizer, $65 for 1.7 ounces. Now, I know people that swear by Dermalogica, they are like the esthetician's cat's meow. I'm not knocking them. I'm sure they're fabulous. I've had a, a facial with them when my friend was in training at one of the derma, uh, esthetician schools. But I can't afford $65 for 1.7 ounces. Not happening. Oh, Riso's Curls, nourish oil for hair, scalp, and body. One ounce, $25. Again, okay, so now they're telling you what each place supports. That's fabulous. I'm not spending that money I don't have. And then, of course, the back page is um, a coupon, five bucks off. And then we have them pushing their new Complexion Crush Medium Coverage Foundation and their Full Coverage Liquid Concealer, which is a matte finish, from the Ulta Beauty Collection. So, knowing this, this is the catalog. Do, overall is nice if i was missing stuff or really needed stuff i would try things but i'm really not there i have a whole room of stuff still waiting to go through circulation in progress being used up or things that are like didn't work for me in the box to donate to women's shelters if they don't get picked up during our periodic makeup swap well skincare makeup hair care and nail care so yeah so i mean like this is not a bad catalog but Overall, thank you for wasting an hour going through the catalog with me. It's like girl porn. I'm sorry. Skincare, makeup, people porn, because you can be any gender or none at all. It doesn't matter to me. So now I'm going to stop looking at this flaky, overly applied gel. Go wash my face. Maybe, maybe light my new candle. I don't know. We'll see. Peace out. Thank you for watching. If you made it to the end of the video, Leave me some sort of emoji, comment, tell me to shut my friggin' mouth, stop rambling on and mixing the content of what should have been three separate videos into one. If you're subscribed, thank you for not running away after this video. If you are new and this didn't scare you off, 
consider subscribing. I promise I don't always do hour long videos. I try and keep it short, like 20 and under. I try and really aim for 10 and under, but hey, I'm just a Gen Xer doing my Gen X shit in a post millennial world. Creepy Chow Kiss, peace out. Have a good night.